give you this quality straight out so that you know what led him to this short song which is about six verses he's an he's a writer of songs amen number two he's a singer himself thirdly he's a worshiper amen thirdly he's the, the if there was a repentant in the world i've never seen such as this one this is the very same one who said i was glad very glad when they said to me let us go to the house of the lord you can see there was a, an element a big element of repentance there hallelujah second fourth fifthly he's a sinner amen all this i'm saying so that everyone here understands that if you have a gift not because you are holy holier than others but god puts a gift for a purpose when he knows you're going to handle it nicely and he gives you that gift now his name is called king david before he was a king uh, let me take him from birth level jesse was very old when he he got this son amen very old and his wife also was old both of them could not give birth but i know you know also that god uses people who cannot give birth to have birth because in his world everything is possible he, being a, a senior man jesse was not is there a law of course here so that i put it on you don't mind okay thank you very much fundis postul sia fumilane tina saba se united as na imtetenga tishu imtetwe panchi right since i want us to move now at his palace big home usually there is a house that nobody enters the only the father that is, I'm defining now Jesus' crawl, where this young man was born from. Amen. Now, in this, in his household, there was a widow who used to work there, young widow. So she used to clean everything and go in the afternoon. I don't know what she did that particular day because women has tricks. <laughs> you know that you can be far away from there, but I know you remember when Christ was on the cross. You remember? And there was a woman, and Peter had left him, and they, they were sitting down with mingling with people who did not know Christ. I don't know how she was sweeping, but and she went past. She went past Peter, and Peter was just quiet. Usually when she plays this game, men will do this, but Peter didn't do. Then she shared some allegations. You are with Christ. I never pass a, a man, and he's so quiet. And she did the second time. And the third time, and his eyes saw Christ. Because when, when, she said that it is true that you are with i don't pass a man like this and he's so quiet it means you have been in touch with this man on the cross because when 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 you have been in touch with him there are things you don't do there are things you don't eat there are places you don't go so he was identified from there so here we don't know what this woman remember he had no man she had no man. This old man, she looks at this woman and says, okay, tomorrow. The Lord was, was bye bye Baba, bye bye Ma. And then she said, bye bye Ma, bye bye Baba. And then the, she said, followed her. Okay, tomorrow, when you come, when it's about to leave, go to that room. I'm the only one who goes there. When Baba, in the afternoon, 
when you leave, I will find you there. This is Jesse. And this is, da there's no David here. And there is his wife, there is this widow. Bob, can I, I forgot something. I want to tell my mother something. Meaning the madam, the wife to Jesse. Baba said, tomorrow, I must go to that room alone. He will meet me there. Because some women, although they are created to be weak, but others are strong. Here they are seated. Yeah. She was very wise. And she said, don't worry, mama. You will go there. I will systematize my things so that you go there. She went to Edgar's of the time. She got a beautifully fragrant perfume that would take 24 hours. Nice nightdress, a short one, a g-string below. Oh, so good. She brought it the following day. Are we together? I don't want to lose you. I want to know the background of this man, the author of this. Then, Ma, then when it, is, it was about one o'clock, she said, Ma, come to the bathroom. I will clean you. At her back, there was a soap. She cleaned the old woman nicely. Nicely. And then she took her perfume. Here is the nightdress. Here is this. Go. Shoo. Stay there and wait for your husband. And she went to her husband and said, Jesse, Baba, I'm leaving now. You remember? Yes, you'll meet me there. And then Jesse went in the house. New perfume. New nightdresses. And she wo he worked. Not like a child. Like an experienced man. Until he was... How many cases did he do? Can't he get the arrange? Didn't know what she was doing. He was doing, was doing to her own wife. He thought he was doing to that widow. Until a, she conceived. So the following day, the girl came back. Oh, thank you, Baba. And I, oh, thank you. We can go today. <laughs> okay. I don't want to go there. Let's come back. But there is a pregnant woman, and the husband does not know. Three parties know. Two parties know. The widow and the woman, the wife. Story goes on. When he heard, Jesse, that your wife is about six months pregnant, he started to grow in him hatred, not for his wife, for the baby to come. And then after nine months, she delivers the baby. And then the baby grew. But Jesse was a wealthy man. Those days, you did not have banks. When you are wealthy, you would have sheep, cows, everything. Then you are a wealthy man. No, he wanted to kill the baby, the young boy. He said to him, you alone, you're going to take my, all my cows to that forest. He knew there was a bear. Are we together? Yes. So he took his father's cows to the, and the bear came about. When the bear came about, he came immediately to the, straight to the bear, and the bear came to him. It was dead. In the afternoon, he brought back the cows. And this rough man, hey, Zippy Kobusama! Because he wanted to have a mistake from this young man. And he said, One, two, three, they're all in. Hey, in the cool one, I'll bear, I look at my son, keep it. Lutubab. Lutubab. Tomorrow, take that where there is a lion. 
He was guaranteed he's not going to come back. He took it there. When he was there, the lion came about, but young men came to the lion. <laughs> oh, we meet some lions. <laughs> okay. And then the following day, now this is second part. Test passed. Bear, lion. Now, that particular season, the Israelite, the peculiar, the nation of God was attacked by Philistine. And the Philistine had a giant. And the, the giant is defined, Babun Postol. It says, from the foot to here was the knee. And from here up there, till he head, this times two. And this would be like fing fingers. <laughs> and thirdly, apart from being created like this, he, he had, he wore, every day he wore army attire, which was built of, of very strong material out of the, the steel. Are we still together? Yeah. We're still coming to this. I want you to know the background. The background will understand why does a man write like this. Then he saw this, Jesus said, two people, I mean, two circumstances, he has one. He won one Goliath. He said, tomorrow, here is food. Take it. Israelites were nomadic. They move from place to place, you know that. So they used to go and fight. So they needed people to bring food. This time, this young man was going to go there and face see the nation of God insulted by an uncircumcised so-called hero. So he went there. Then he found in him, early as he arrives with food to give his brothers. Here come a hero. And he said all the insult he could say to the nation of God. But he was tired at that time to have pay less wars. He wanted the reward if he defeats this one. You have fought payless wars. Gossiping is a payless war. Talking about a pastor is a payless war. Holding a meeting to buy a suit for a pastor is a payless war. Skipping the tithing is a payless war. He had grown to a rewarding war. This particular time, he went to the king himself. The king was sold. It was them. He said, King, I see a man is insulting the army of God. How can that happen when I'm alive? He said, But tell me who can, if you fight that man and you defeat him. If anyone does that, what can he get? He said, can a man? He said, yes, I am. I'm available. But I need to know the reward. Don't fight wars that uh, do not have rewards. Amen. Then the king said, I have a beautiful woman at home, a lady. My firstborn is going to be taken by a person who can defeat that one. Get it? He said, tomorrow you will see. And then in the morning, the king, not knowing what is in a man, gave him his clothes. He said, this, and I don't use this clothes when I go to fight. I fought a bear. I fought a lion. What is this? Come here. Can you call me? The, what is the name of this little thing? Angelic thing. It's like an angel you can see. Ozala, Ozala, I want to. Ozala, 
I want to tell the truth, not lies. You are a church. Face this side. Come this side. Face this side. If these two people were to fight, <laughs> who was going to win? Pointed at her. <laughs> this one. That day, things were different. And if you read this, it's biblical what I'm saying now. This one came with five stones and one sling. If you go to tents, because pastors in the tents are so much in a hurry to get people saved, they say the, it meant Jesus. That is not put it in the rubbish bin. Get the right answer now. The right answer is he had five stones. They, they are representing brothers of Goliath. Because Goliath has shared the same name with his brothers. Are we together? So he knew if, if he conquers this one, a brother would come. Have you, those who, who had an exposure to various things, some were exposed to, to things like